Hello, good day. Um, welcome to today's to uh, illustration. There are things I want to actually show you guys today. I actually I went to a particular site and uh, what I saw there, it was just it was just off it. Now this video, I'll be having explanation showing some things on the very error about the errors the person actually made there. You know. I noticed even where he had to do spring his hook, he never did them right. His looping, it, they were appalling, but it was wrong. And at the end of the day, even the cable from the energizers, you will see the kind of cable he used. But just, just sit back, watch. Even as I take you along this whole thing, let us learn from this, so that if you are among those who still uh, uh, can make this kind of mistake, you desist from it. Okay. Let's go to the classroom. Let me show you some of this. All right, I actually came here and uh, I came to check. I saw this electric fence. I think I was really interested. I want to know the principle behind this. Okay, this is what we have here. See, this is the cable the best I actually brought from. The energizer we have. Let's take a look at it. One cable on the first line, another one on the second line. The third line we have another one. The fourth line we have another one. The fifth and sixth is actually fallow. We don't have anything there. Fifth and sixth is fallow. Okay. <laughs> let's let's just try observe the whole thing. Okay. You see. One, two, three, four. You have cables, wires from them. Then we actually got here. Let me take you somewhere. Let me see something. And this was the part. This was the part that drew my interest when I first saw it. Let me show you. All right. You see? <laughs> what kind of looking is this? Can you see? We have number one. Number one to three at the middle here. Number two to number four. Number four to number six. And the other place, number three I to number five. What the heck is this? Man. You see, these are the reasons why you you can imagine. I think the, the owner of this thing will think he's he's being protected, whereas Whoever had done this has actually made a mess of the whole thing. Let me just go to the back. Let me take a look at what it has. Um, okay, let's see the back. On the same on the same sides where you have that at the front this is what we have again at the back can we zoom in let's see <laughs> one one to three two to four three to five four to six <laughs> you know just take a look at it if we have this here I also have something like that at that end. So whoever cuts this this stuff, how would the how would the energizer detect it? So this is what we call nonsense. I don't want to expose where this place is because this place is at risk. I only show the fence so nobody is able to trace. You don't know where where this uh, place is actually. But this is terrible. The installer should desist from stuff like this. How can you? How can you? There's no security here. This is just a uh, try split. Well, I think for those who are involved in this, please desist from it. Like I said, your looping should always be at the edges. Okay, this is what, this is what you have 
under the energizer, yeah, but I'm going to make sure I correct all this. To remove the every the looping here. What's this cable doing here? You can imagine the what is the way doing here. Horrible. When you already uh, have it all this, important. you have all these ones which you can use, but what is this guy doing here? So but I'm going to make every of these corrections now. I'll make this correction. Yeah, it's actually uh, done here. I'll make this correction. Was to move, and then okay. I had to move to Let's the other side here, the back side. That's right. Yeah, this is All where right. I was trying to also right, this move. Is the end of, this is the end of the fence. Those were looping. They were really thing. unnecessary. Really, really, really look, unnecessary. Just he just never everywhere. needed every of the same, the same when thing. it comes to fences that are straight, straight up like this, your loop should just be at the connected earlier one side see, maybe the end of the fence using a car and seat. the other one will be the then one coming out from the energizer the second one, so those two, are just the two areas three, you need those look because four. it's just too straightforward but i'm surprised wow. he had to start to get nothing every but i'm going to correct this one i think right it's just now. someone like wherever you just feel like okay let me do something here let me do something here Maybe these uh, these uh, moves are just to deceive the client, making them feel oh, fine. These things they've been well done, but you should be careful whenever you're doing stuff like this. Always know that there there are days you have professionals, people who comes around who sees what you've done, and if you, you if they weren't done right, we have to pinpoint them. We can't continue to keep quiet or keep short. Allow you guys to begin to spoil this old this old field. So this is me trying to remove all of them. Okay, even at the extreme, the backside, we also had that here. Uh, the looping here was also very wrong. So we had to take them out. Take every one of them out. How to remove them? Remove the way he looped them because it was just a one to. He did a one to three. Um, I think is it three to six, uh, then two to four. You know, it was not. Uh, it it was not adding up anyway. So, but here yeah, we're trying to take them out, making sure that when they're done, then we we'll, we we'll have to do the right thing. Yeah, we're trying to correct it. So please, whenever you have fences like this, just know that your looping is just going to be at the back side. Maybe the edge, the extreme where it stops, and you, your energizer comes in from more on the side. If the energizer, like this very scenario, the energizer is at one end and the fence stops at the other end, which is really straightforward. You don't need much of uh, uh, technicality here if you understand how to loop. It's just to go to the extreme. You close the, the one, line one and uh, line three, then close um, four and six. When that is done, okay, I think that's what I'm trying to do here. One and three, four and six. If that is done, immediately you you do you you do that. Then it means your fence is complete. One and three, four to six are the extreme, the ends of the fence. If you have it, maybe it can be. I can see it as a linear kind of a fence. It's just a straight fence. That came to this side. So if you expand the fence, you can stretch in the fence. Let's assume we don't have the edge there, the first corner angle there, the angle 90 we have there. We assume it's a straight line. So just go to the end, you put one to one loop, one to three, then four to six. Then all you need to do, you can just loop your earth, which is um, line two and five. Because for the six lines, we have the live. At life, life, at life. That's for the sixth line. Life, at life, life, at life. So now, you see, I'm trying to explain. It means the life coming from line one goes to three. Three it goes all the way to the front side. And that goes to, yes, this is it. When the, from the three goes all the way, comes to this place. This is the energizer area. The number three goes to number four here. Comes to four. From four, it returns to the back. That's the back side. That's a four to six, which is the last life. And from that one, returns here. So it means at the end of the day, we'll be having our energizer cable coming from line one, the first one at the top. And the last, the other one will be at the line, line six. That's one and six. That's where the energizer cable comes in from here. Then the earth can be in either two or number five but remember we've looped the eight two and and five 
at the backside. Then also, there's one thing I also draw from this uh, uh, illustration. Can you see the siren? The siren is just right behind me. Yes, you, I think when this video, if you just take a look at it, it's just right behind me. One thing I want you to understand, it is wrong. You see, there's a, a you see the fence. This fence is very close to this siren. You should think like a, like a psychology, like a thief. If I'm a thief and I want to break into this house and I can see the siren close to me, I can just find a way, try to hit that siren out. So this should not be done. Your siren should be far away from where intruder can easily gain access to it. Like I always say, electric fence is just the first line of defense. It's just for that alarm to go off. And if the purpose for that is not achieved, then there's no need having this. So please, this is from this. Your siren should not even come out at this point. You're supposed to put it in a place far away from where anybody can easily reach. Let me show you something here. Watch this. Come, let me show you how somebody see him? you see look at how, i just saw this the way he spring the hook see look at where this part ought to be the part that should have taken the wires but he reversed it used this one here and he brought this other one here wow the terrible this is you see we still have so many so many should i say very unbaked in uh, installers i think these are these people are just hungry just hungry i just decided to just start something please if you are part of people who are who is into this please this is from it it's bad just too bad just too bad this is a correction to the previous errors we're having you see now just a single f from here then you see the live out and the live return cable this one that was used earlier, I had to cut this off from the system. So now, um, I just, I did trigger the alarm. Let me try, turn it on. All right. I think it's fine now, right? All right. Let's go outside. Let's see what we have there. Let me turn it off. Off. So, let's take a look up there. The connections now. Now from this end, hello, excuse me. Now you can see. Now this is the cable from the energizer. Energizer came from here. All the way here. So we only have one cable on line one, one on the earth, which is on the five. And one on the uh, on six, one. Then the only loop here is number two, uh, three, and four. This is this is all the cables. We only have loop on three and four. Three and four was loop here, and there's no loop on any other place on the fence until we get to the other end. Yes, let's just. Let's travel through, okay.
okay now yeah this is the extreme you see see the end now what we have here is just number one to three and if you remember that it was three and four so from there it returns then number four to six the other one is the earth so that's a complete circuit thank you all right i hope you enjoyed this video you can see from every of the arrows he made there you can you can see right from the the one i showed you the spring the one i showed you the hook how he, he, he placed his spring with the hook it was wrong even his looping they were all wrong so please desist from such and if you see installers that comes up with all this please just why not just take your time go 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 develop yourself develop yourself before putting this out to any client because at the end of the day, the, the, the owner of the property actually spent uh, he, he actually spent a whole lot for this. And let me tell you something. Even before I decide to correct this error you saw right there, I had to talk with the client. Please permit me. I don't think I can just leave this place without sorting this. Let me just expose something. Your fence, can I help you adjust it? Let me correct it. What has been done there is wrong. And he was he was happy and he was even ready to pay he said he's happy to pay for it all he wants is just uh, optimum security and we're able to achieve this i hope you enjoyed this video till we meet again in our next class do have a lovely day and please don't forget to subscribe share this video so that everyone can also partake, partake of this uh of this uh, knowledge thanks for watching bye for now